Today is Monday, December 28th, the Feast of the Holy Innocents. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled, out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm struck in this Gospel, I mean, first of all, about the horrendous actions of Herod. That's pretty uh, horrible. But I'm also struck by the faithfulness yet again of Joseph. Joseph listening to the angel, ultimately to the Lord, and taking the child and his mother and fleeing to Egypt. I think, again, he serves as a model for us, uh, like Mary, what it means to open up ourselves up to God and to follow his will. As we have celebrated Christmas and we are now anticipating the new year, I think it's a time for us to continually ask, continually pray, and continually seek the will of God in our lives. And then to be faithful, to be humble and faithful, to trust in God's uh, word, to trust where God is leading us, and to be open to where he is calling us.